Welcome to another pack opening. Uh, this time I have a blister pack of Breakthrough. The big draw for this one was the Sablai. I mean, I really like his look. Uh, his design's pretty cool looking. Hopefully we'll be able to hear this over the wind. It's a little bit windy out today. Uh, but still a little bit better than inside with the with the constantly changing lighting and, uh, and also, of course, the, the loud computer noises. Okay, so let's see we have in here. Let's this open very inefficiently. As inefficiently as possible. There's probably some sort of like art to this that I have not yet established, so I'm sort of ripping and tearing. Here we go. So let's remove our breakthrough packs. We've got a Mega Mewtwo, a Mega Houndoom, and a Xerneas, no that's not a Xerneas, a Zoroark Break. Right on the front there. And of course we have... Oh, come on. We have a Froakie coin, which I'm not too excited about. Not a big fan of Froakie, and I don't really care about the coins. I mean, unless it were something really special, but, I mean, it's a Froki. And, come on, how do I get you out of here without, there we go. And there's our Sabli. I like these sort of half full art cards. They're really interesting, and I've always liked Sabli. I'm really glad to see he got a, he got a Mega. I mean, he just looks really cool like that. You know, he's got the cool gem, he's got the cool ability. Um, all around a good, a good dude. Okay. So let's start with the Zorark Break. I'm not a big fan of the Break cards. I mean, they just sort of put a put a gold filter on them. It, it doesn't seem all that, you know, all that special to me. Um, I, I get that they're like influential and what have you, but uh, they've never really, never really done it for me. All right, so this time I'm going to do the um, the code cards a little bit differently. Uh, I'd like to see some responses on the bottom, some comments. Uh, so I'd like to see. Um, I don't know, uh, sort, sort of, uh, see your, your best answer. Um, so, I don't know, let's, uh, let's see here. I'll, I'll come up with a question and then, uh, the, my, my favorite answer, I'll give those, uh, code cards to at the, uh, at the end. So, here we are. We've got a Chespin, a Piplup, a Noibat, Another Chespin, that's weird. A Ralts. Oh, I think I see something weird there. Whoa, okay. Oh, and I forgot the card trick. I'm in dingus. Yeah, it's windy out here. I forgot the card trick. I'm a dingus. But hey, look at that. We did get the Zorark break, oddly enough, out of the Zorark pack. Um, that's pretty cool. You know, still not the super big fan of the, uh, of the break cards, but it's always nice to see that uh, show up in that slot. Uh, you know, on the reverse rare spot, and our rare is, of course, the Noivern, and we've got two other uh, rando cards coming up. You know, we've got a Rainbow Energy, which I guess is okay, uh, a Brakeson, and a Spupa. Alright, sorry about that, I I forgot about the code card thing I was going to do, and then I got distracted, and yeah, yeah, I'm bad at this. Alright. Okay. Here we are. A code card. Okay, wait, okay. Almost did it again. Do the one, two, three. To the back, I think. Maybe that's how it works. I forgot. I've I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I'm kind of uh kind of falling out of it here. We've got the Stunfisk, the Ursa Ring. We have a Magneton, that's pretty cool. There's our Cubone, of course. Uh, Hippot. Not sure how to pronounce this one. Uh, Hippopotas? Hippopotas? Uh, I don't know, he's the, the hippo dude. 
Cyndaquil, that's actually a really, really cute picture. Look at him on, his, on the logs. He's going to be the fire starter. That's really cute. Uh, we got the Goldeen. A Starly. A Chat Hot. Which is the Reverse Hollow. Still like that uh, Reverse Hollow pattern. And our rare is a Braviary. So, nothing too, nothing too special here. But we've got one more pack, of course, our Mega Mewtwo pack. So maybe that will, uh, maybe that'll give us an EX or something of something of some interest. How do these things? Okay. All right. There we are. Okay. So we'll start out with a fracture. It's a funny pun name. A float stone. That's actually fairly valuable in the in the meta, I think. I mean, free retreat cost on a tool is pretty good. Uh, yeah, I started getting into the Pokemon trading card game uh, online, so um, I'm having a bit of fun with that. I'm doing a Chandelure deck right now with the supporter discard sort of stuff. Um, we've got our Magneton. There's our Ralts again. Really, really cute image on that one. Panpour. Okay, and so he's in Venice, I guess. Uh, Vanillite. Pansier. Pancham. There's another chess pin as the reverse hollow, so we've got a almost a place out of those. And our rare is going to be a Florigus. So nothing too special in this one, but I'll just go over some of the more interesting stuff to me. Here we are. Yeah, really not that much. This was kind of a kind of a bummer of a pack. So we got our got our Floridus, our Zorark Break, and of course the the Sablai, which is definitely not going to be very valuable at all, given that everyone could get one like at any time. Uh, but I mean, I just like how he looks, and uh, and of course I think this might be my first Break card actually that I've uh, ever pulled out of a pack. So that's um, I mean, good for me, I guess. All right, so the question. Uh, for these, uh, for the code cards here, uh, the all three code cards. Um, what would you like to uh, to see my channel focus on? I mean, I'm sort of spread out all over the place doing pack openings and trying a nuzlocke and, um, you know, doing a bit of uh, competitive showdown things like that. Uh, and of course, I am hoping to do Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon on you know on the, the 3DS and get a capture card and all that sort of stuff. Um, so what, what would you like to uh, what would you like to see me focus on? And of course, I've also got a few theory videos um, that I would that I would like to do, um, just sort of uh, theorizing how to how to change or improve the meta, um, just various things with the um, with the cards like that. So, what what sort of things should my should my channel focus on? What, what do you think my strengths are? What are my weaknesses? What do I need to do to uh, be a better uh, PokerTuber and you know be interesting and create the content that you that you want to see? Um, I mean, that'd be, that'd be really helpful to me, so, um, I don't know, but thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, and have a, have a good rest of your day.